Hi everyone. Today we are going to see how a registration application works in Java. This application follows MVC architecture and uses servlets and JSPs and uh, MySQL database server. You can also use any other database server. Mm. Fine. Uh, let us understand what is MVC first. So, as the name stands, MVC consists of views, model, and controller. The view contains uh, UI elements like uh, JSPs, HTML, and uh, PHPs. The model consists of uh, the business logic where it connects to a database and uh, it inserts details into the database. And the controller acts as an interface between view and the model. It uh, sends the data from view to model and again uh, retrieves the data back and sends to UI. Let me demonstrate how this works. The inputs are validated using JavaScript. so. To check those, we can check. We can see that the full name cannot be blank, so I am entering one record and uh, we will insert them into a database. So, to check the database details, we have only three details till now. So, the new, new user should get inserted into the database if the registration is successful. So, the full name I am entering a record, Brad Pitt, and the email. So if we check for the username, it is asking, it cannot be blank. And the password, password should be of length six, six characters. And uh, if you check for confirm password, even this should match with the original password. So register. Yeah, we got a message. User registration is successful and. Uh, the control is sent to home page so we can go back and re login again let us check if the details are present in the database yeah we see that uh, a record named brad pitt is inserted so the registration application is successful so let us understand the coding part how it is implemented so this is the project registration mvc and uh, it uses two uh, Dependent jar files. One is the servlet api.jar, which is required for uh, servlets, and uh, MySQL java.jar. This is required to connect to MySQL database. It contains driver details. So, if you use any other uh, database server, you would need a jar file of, uh, for that server. And uh, 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 web.xml, uh, you see this file. This is called deployment descriptor. When the project gets loaded, this file uh, is looked. This file will be looked into because it contains uh, all the configuration details. So let us check. It contains the servlet details and it contains the <coughs> detail which file should be loaded first. In this case, it is register.jsp as uh, it contains the form. So the register.jsp we will go to this and uh, uh, we have form here and the form consists of full name, email, username, password so once we submit these details the <coughs> request will be sent to register servlet this is the java class which resides in the controller register servlet.java this uh, file gets called and we are using the method post make a note of it and uh, on submit we are also calling a javascript function so this is the function it checks for the blank fields like name email and password and also the password so let us go for uh, register servlet.java in this we are retrieving all the details from the input after this register bean class gets called this class contains only set and get methods where user details will be set so that uh, they can be accessed at any point in time later in this project so next we are calling register dao class this class contains the logic where we are inserting details into the database inside this we are calling we are invoking register user method this method Again, we are retrieving all the details from the register B and uh, 
we have to establish a connection with the database so for this we are going to dbconnection.java here we need four details to connect to the database one is the mysql server url and the database name and the username and password so we can uh, get we can call get connection method and the and connection gets established next we are going back to register dao.java where uh, we are inserting the details into the users table so the insertion is happening using prepared statements and uh, if the if the insertion is successful then we will it will return a positive integer so in this case we are returning a string named success in case of failure we will return an error message so this method this return will go back to register servlet and finally merge them the user registered string would contain the result so if it is success the success is returned then we are sending the user to home.jsp page in case of failure we will send him to register.jsp with the error message the error message which we are setting here it is being displayed on the register.jsp you can see this message here that's all and uh, if you need code you can go to this url uh, a link will be given in the description of the video so if you have any doubts please contact us in the next video we will see how the login process works for the user blood who was registered in this video thank you